Oh. What's up, y'all? Ah, uh, it's Kevin. New apartment. Um, today I'm going to be uh, attempting to do properly uh, removing the overshoe from the Mars Yard uh, overshoe. So let me bring that guy on over. Look at these tent looking looking boys. They look kind of wild. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I know a lot of people have like professional customizers do this, but I don't know whether or not uh, I want to go down that route. I'm going to try and attempt to remove this. If I fuck up, I fuck up and you guys get to see. Um, but yeah, so my main reason for removing the overshoe is because I live in California and it doesn't, it, <laughs> it like rains. <laughs> <laughs> only a handful of times so I feel like that wouldn't necessarily be reasonable for me to do this and also I like the design of the Mars yard in itself underneath or inside the um, the Dyneema bag or the layer um, there is a Mars yard underneath uh, the customization or I guess the removal that I'm going to be doing I'm going to keep the the blue kind of sheet parts all on because I personally think it's a cool detail um, I'm also going to keep the Fidlock um, buckles because I think the Fidlock buckles are actually really cool as well. Purely, I'm going to be essentially removing this material and probably shortening the heel area as well. So, going to keep uh, that. So, what I have currently, what I'm going to make do with is I got this X Acto knife uh, holder essentially and some fabric scissors. So, uh, let's let's try this uh, try this out. Okay, I, I actually had a few pairs of these. I think I won a raffle on um, at DSM, like DSM LA, when they first released, and I sold those off because I was like, eh, I'm never gonna customize them. But then I found this for under retail on Goat, so I was just like, let me just see if I can pull the trigger. Uh, I'm nervous. Uh, I don't want to fuck this up. Okay. I'm gonna first start by undoing the blue stitching uh, on the back heel. And I'm sorry if you guys can't really see this. I'm just undoing the stitching right now. But it's really stuck on.
almost this black stuff. Clean that up. Oh, it might be ink. Looks like they're using like Cosmo, Cosmo, or whatever tape seam that they have. This would not pass in stitching class. Holding, oh, there we go. On this side. There we go. I'm gonna have to probably clean that up. Got the top layer off. is my soul. They did not make this easy to take off. to get on suede either. Just gonna try and rub a little bit of it off at least and then
bunched up a little bit of the suede. Looks like it's okay. Now the heel, that's always kind of a bitch. Almost there. Maybe it might be easier to start from this angle. I think would be nice is if I cleaned some of this side stuff up. So I'm just gonna work at it. Kinda wish my scissors were a little bit sharper, but all good. If you guys are gonna try this at home, maybe grab some new scissors or some uh, sharpened fabric scissors because these are a little bit dull and a little bit old, so. Exact on my knife is mad sharp though, because it's new. Still do want to get rid of a little bit more. by just taking apart piece by piece. There's a few parts of the blue. Um, Plastic that are a little bit banged up, but should be okay. You guys also don't want to be like me. Uh, I think you guys should definitely have maybe some gloves on. Don't raw dog it like me unless you're okay with getting a bunch of cuts.
it's not perfect. And I gotta figure out how to get uh, the shoes uh, shaped back because I know what they did is they kind of glued it down. I obviously don't want to glue down to its upper. So we shall see. Doing some minor cleanup here. This is, the shape needs to be right. May end up just swapping these out for some rope laces. This one definitely is a little bit messier than the first because this area is a little bit more waved out. Let's bring in the first. So first, here's the second. Definitely think I could go a little bit closer, but you see how clean this line is versus I guess my second one. It's not terrible, but um, you can kind of tell a little bit. I might work at this a little bit more later um, just to kind of clean it up. Uh, you can't really see a lot of the fabric, but actually that bothers me. Now the last thing I want to do is damage the Mars yard underneath. So if anything, I'm okay with damaging the the blue outer cage. Okay with that. And I'm just kind of stroking it away from the shoe. There we go. Just applying gentle pressure. That should be good, but what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to probably squeeze this for a hot minute, uh, probably clean this up in a bit because all this excess loose fabric I do want to eventually maybe even get rid of because um, I don't really see too much of a purpose for it. The only purpose that I see, uh, at least previously, obviously this was stitched on, this wasn't. I'm assuming as like a protective guard, but um, what I think this could be repurposed as is like kind of protecting the upper from this. Not 100% sure though. But yeah, kind of this off and trying to keep its shape. Because I do think I worked at the uppers, the plastic uppers on this shoe, the uh, the left shoe, the second shoe that I did more than the initial one. Because you guys can kind of see the initial one kind of kept a little bit of its shape, a little bit of kind of um, stretchiness to the upper. While this one, it's a bit, it's a bit more stretched. Let me put these on if you can kind of tell. Kind of 
tell. And this one's worked a little bit more, at least in the midfoot. Uh, yeah, this one's worked a little bit more. That's what I was kind of afraid of, because um, if I was just too, too harsh on it, which I don't recommend you guys doing, I guess, it's like separate this into parts. Um, just take your time at it, because I think the time that it took for this was 50 minutes. I think this was like 30 to 40, but it's marginal, but still, I think it would be nice. Just take your time on it. But yeah, um, I'll do an on feet after I clean some of this up and then I'll have my final thoughts. Oh, hey guys, I'm back. So here is sort of the finished product. Let me get the right shoe, clean this guy up. So essentially what I did is that I cut around the Dyneema fabric cut off all of the excess, detached the straps pretty much completely from all of the Dyneema material. And something that I thought would be actually really cool that I didn't think um, I could do. Uh, a lot of customs I've seen them replace this quick fasten um, kind of mechanism with a uh, just traditional rope lace, like a paracord lace. And I actually don't like that. I think the quick fasten really adds kind of like like a newness to this. And if I just wanted a Mars Air 2.0, I guess I would have bought it for resale, but hell no, I wouldn't actually. It's like fucking two and a half, three grand, four grand in some sizes. So um, it's really easy. If you guys have an overshoe behind this little um, kind of metal, or not metal, this plastic stopping thing, um, you are able to untie, cause it just had one knot. You can untie it. It was originally all the way up here. And then I just shortened it to the length of my desire. Um, and then I just made an extra knot and then it kind of allows it to still look okay. Um, I think it's actually pretty cool cause it reminds me of like the Solomon, um, like speed cross or I believe that's the model name. Uh, and then I'm just going to shorten it with exacto knife you could probably just use scissors as well but i'm just trying to find reasons or excuses i guess that i bought this uh what you also might want to do is you might want to light the ends so that kind of gets uh i don't want to say cauterized but i can't really think of another word for it gets solidified i don't know um but Here's essentially the full length of it. And then I'm gonna probably just like cord it down. And then I'm gonna actually use these straps to secure in like this guy. So I've actually worn this around the house a little bit so I can get like a good sense of what it feels like. It feels pretty good in my opinion. Feels pretty darn good. Fasten, fasten, and here's sort of the final product. Uh, some kind of takeaway points uh, are that the full Dyneema is actually like kind of, there's like an underlying fabric and that fabric kind of wraps around the actual shoe in itself. Uh, so that was actually really hard. Um, be careful, especially around the areas of the sway when you're cutting, uh, you wanna make small yet deliberate strokes uh, when you're cutting away the underlying fabric. I really tried to not damage the Dyneema whatsoever. And I think I did personally a good job. Let me bring it over. So here's the full Dyneema, the overshoe. Um, that was a quite interesting pattern. Kind of looks like I could probably even make this into like a cool little bag, which I think is actually kind of cool. Um, I don't know. Like I know some people told me that like they think it'd be cool to make this into like a mask, which yeah, I mean, I agree. I agree a mask would be really cool. Um, one thing that I actually think might be interesting and maybe incorporating this sort of magnetic buckle into the shoe somehow, uh, I think that'd be something interesting to explore. <laughs> but this, Reminds me of like a chef's hat. 
than putting fluoride in the water. Turn in the frogs gay. Investigate 311. How ridiculous do I look? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I look good. It's fashionable. It's fashionable. Is it fashion forward? Well, it's forward. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't want all this to go to waste. Um, might make a bag out of it. Uh, might be a good excuse to learn how to sew, but yeah, really cool material. But yeah, this is what we're left underneath with. Uh, some closing thoughts again, um, I would say be careful, especially around the suede and the toe area. Uh, another thing you wanna be mindful of is, I think this plastic will go back a little bit more uh, snug to the shoe eventually, but for right now, it almost creates like an overshoe in itself, uh, which I mean, like obviously the name implies it's an overshoe. Uh, I think that's something that I'm not particularly a huge fan of, that it creates like a weird kind of bowing out and it varies depending on how much you work, I think the shoe in itself. Uh, I think maybe I might've overworked the shoe I want to make sure it doesn't come loose, yep. So you could probably even light it, almost cauterize the ends. I don't know a different term again, but yeah, this is sort of how it turned out. I'd love to see you guys try to experience it yourself. Another thing that I'm thinking about doing is maybe shortening the tongue and restitching it back on because it doesn't look like it'll be too hard to do uh, just because maybe it'll be like a very high tongue, but I put it on, I actually kind of like how it looks, but maybe over time it'll get annoying. Uh, another thing I'm probably gonna be doing is I'm either gonna be like gluing this down to create like a small like loop over here or probably stitching it down. That's why I left some extra fabric there is because like maybe I could just end up stitching this in and creating like a double layered, I guess, pull tab in the back. Um, I thought that would be cool as well. Um, cause I'm not a huge fan of this flopping around and honestly, like if anything, maybe I'll even like remove it. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments. Would you guys do this to your overshoe? Uh, I know the prices on the overshoe have like dramatically decreased since they initially released. They're on a slight uptrend. Uh, but you guys can definitely still get your pairs for about retail. Give this a try. Uh, maybe even do a sole swap. A part of me wants to just buy another pair to do a sole swap. So it'll look closer to the 2.0, but maybe I'll keep the straps. I just really like the Fidlock buckles. I think it really adds like a cool feature to it. Um, but another part is I really like the uh, more durable outsole because I've seen some 2.0s in that. Um, and the Special Force boot outsole kind of wears down really quickly, so. Or maybe I'll even do like a sole swap with like a different model that isn't out yet. Maybe the Overbreak. Uh, I know that is releasing with the Mars Yard colorway in like a few weeks or something. I think it's already out in like Australia, Asia Pacific, all that other stuff. So uh, yeah, like let me know what you guys think. I'll have like an on foot with a few different pairs of pants. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Peace. So, 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 so,